Arctic sea ice, a revolutionary proposal. A spark of optimism has been ignited in our mission to preserve the Arctic sea ice, all thanks to a controversial plan. The method? Deploy wind-driven pumps to scatter sea onto the surface. As a result, the ice frees and strengthen during winter season. In the meantime, Elon Musk's Starship isn't just overcoming obstacles, but also racing ahead in the space industry, exploring further than ever before, and propelling us into a future where voyages between planets are a commonplace. As we grapple with the icy realities of the Arctic, let's take a moment to discuss something closer to home, our food. The world's largest blueberry thriving on an Australian farm is a testament to the power of a nurturing environment. In the UK, the once endangered water voles are flourishing thanks to a multi-million pound landscape scheme. But climate change isn't just about rising temperatures and melting ice, it's a domino effect and it's disturbing our food supply too. Take bananas, for instance. A staple fruit for millions, bananas might soon become a luxury. Warming climates are making it increasingly difficult for these tropical fruits to grow, driving prices sky high. As we venture into space and contemplate the future of interplanetary travel, it's crucial that we don't lose sight of the changes happening right here on Earth. The state of our planet impacts every facet of our lives, from the air we breathe to the food we eat. So as we dream of the stars, let's not forget to take care of our home planet. As the Earth's temperature continues to rise, February has proven to be hotter than ever before. This is not just a statistic, but a distress signal from our planet, urging us to act. While the impact on our food supply is alarming, it's not the only area of concern. Our energy consumption and the sources we rely on play a significant role in this environmental crisis. In an unprecedented move, the UK has responded to this call for change. They've taken a bold step towards sustainability by withdrawing from the Energy Charter Treaty. This international agreement, once a safeguard for oil companies, allowed them to sue the government if policies interfered with their profits. This, in turn, hindered the transition to cleaner energy sources. However, by stepping away from this treaty, the UK has set a precedent for other nations. It's a statement that the survival of our planet takes precedence over corporate interests. It's a message of hope and a demonstration of commitment to a greener future. So, while we grapple with the reality of our changing environment, let's take a moment to appreciate this stride towards sustainability. It's a reminder that we have the power to effect change and ensure the longevity of our home planet. As we continue to explore the stars and dream of interplanetary travel, let's also remember to look after the world beneath our feet. As we plunge deeper into an epoch characterized by the inescapable impacts of climate change, the urgency of discovering sustainable energy alternatives to fossil fuels is paramount. Among these alternatives, green ammonia is gaining prominence. Known for its traditional use in fertilizers, this chemical compound is now being recognized as a possible breakthrough in the energy sector. It is a carbon neutral fuel that can be utilized in power plants and transportation, yielding a clean, renewable energy source. However, the challenge lies in commercially producing green ammonia at a swift pace. We have already crossed a crucial heating limit, enduring a year with a temperature rise of one and a half degrees Celsius a critical point that scientists have been cautioning us about. is more than just an alert, it's a mandate for action. It is a reminder that our planet's future hinges on our capability to innovate, modify and adopt cleaner energy alternatives. Therefore, as we persist in exploring green ammonia's potential and other sustainable substitutes, we must remember that the race towards a sustainable future is not just about triumph. It's about our very survival. As we grapple with the challenge of finding sustainable energy solutions, our planet is revealing its own insights into the climate crisis. Two extreme environments, the lush Amazon and the icy Antarctica, are at the forefront of these revelations. In the heart of South America, the mighty Amazon, often referred to as the lungs of the Earth, is experiencing an unprecedented drought. This vast rainforest, which plays a crucial role in the global carbon cycle, is parched its green canopy withering under the relentless sun. This drought is not just a seasonal anomaly, but a stark reminder of the relentless march of climate change. It's a testament to our changing climate and the urgent need to mitigate its effects. Meanwhile, far from the Amazon's sweltering heat, the frigid expanse of Antarctica is also disclosing its secrets. 
As scientists study the region's melting history, they're uncovering clues about past climate patterns. Ice bumps or cryoconites have trapped ancient air bubbles, providing a fascinating glimpse into past atmospheric conditions. These findings are helping us understand how ice sheets might respond to future warming, offering invaluable insights as we race against time to combat climate change. Whether it's the Amazon's drought or Antarctica's melting ice, the message is clear. Our planet is under stress and its natural environments are sounding the alarm. As we strive for a sustainable future, let's heed these warnings and continue our pursuit of cleaner, greener energy sources. As we witness the Earth struggle and strive to secure a sustainable future, human ingenuity is simultaneously reaching out to the final frontier, space. Recently, a US-Russian crew defied gravity, embarking on a journey to the International Space Station, a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration and cooperation. But the quest doesn't stop at the ISS. Plans are already underway to bring a familiar earthly convenience to the moon. Wi-Fi. Yes, you heard that right. The establishment of Wi-Fi on our celestial neighbor is not simply a novelty, but a strategic move aimed at facilitating efficient data transfer and communication. This technological advancement will make lunar missions more feasible and efficient, marking a significant leap in our quest to become an interplanetary species. As we continue to explore the cosmos and uncover its mysteries, let's not forget our responsibility to our home planet. After all, the view from space only serves to underscore the fragility and beauty of Earth. As we reach for the stars, let's also reach for a sustainable future down here on the ground. Just as we marvel at the leaps we've made towards lunar connectivity, we are reminded of the dangers that lurk in the cosmos. A European satellite recently met a fiery demise over the Pacific Ocean, a stark reminder of the perils of space debris. This isn't just a minor inconvenience. Space debris poses a significant threat to both manned and unmanned space missions. With tens of thousands of pieces of debris orbiting the Earth at speeds of up to 28,000 kilometers per hour, even the smallest fragments can cause catastrophic damage. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we must also focus on sustainable and responsible space exploration. This includes implementing measures to mitigate the risk of space debris, such as designing satellites with end-of-life disposal plans and developing technologies to remove existing debris. In our quest to become an interplanetary species, let's ensure that we don't just leave footprints on the moon, but also a clean and safe space environment for future generations. Stay curious, stay informed. This is science today and every day. Yours truly, EDMC Plus.